What's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss in the area of aspects I wish I could take some goggles to explain you but my eyes are good enough till now so I don't need any goggles <laughs> so what are aspects in astrology Basically when I say Jupiter is aspecting some, some house or Venus is aspecting somewhere or Rahu is aspecting somewhere. What do you mean by that? Aspect simply means that wherever a planet is placed apart from that house and apart from the houses that it is ruling in the horoscope. Yes, we have done a video on house lords and placement of house lords. If you have not watched it then please go and watch it. Otherwise you will not... Uh, understand what I am saying here okay so a planet will sit somewhere and it will rule certain houses okay Sun and Moon rules only one house each of them because they own Leo and Cancer okay respectively all the other planets rule two signs each except Rahu Ketu of course they don't rule any uh, particular signs but uh, they are considered to be ruling Aquarius and Scorpio respectively, Rahu Ketu, yes. So, apart from the rulership of the houses and the placement, okay, it also tries to put its effect in some other place, okay. That means, it has a desire to go to that house, okay. Basically, aspect means the eyes, okay. So now, for example, you are seeing me, I am seeing you, because you have a desire to see me, I have a desire to see you. Otherwise, we will not see each other, right? Maybe we will see something else. <laughs> so basically, aspect simply means that the planet is sitting somewhere. Okay? It is ruling something. Rulership is like the resources which the planet has. Okay? And placement is like how they will use those resources. Okay? For example, suppose somebody is a Libra Ascendant with sun placed in the ninth house okay now i am getting technical here if you have not watched the videos earlier you will not understand so please go and watch back okay otherwise you will feel oh what am i talking this alien language so if somebody is libra ascendant okay his 11th lord is sun okay because the number five symbol which is leo falls in the 11th house okay so now suppose sun is sitting in the ninth house okay so sun is ruling the 11th house sitting in the 9th house so for a libra ascendant the sign in the 9th house is gemini okay so sun ruling the 11th house is sitting in the 9th house what do you mean by this it simply means that sun is telling that i have the resources of the 11th house by default because i am from there because leo is from there right leo is in the 11th house so what is 11th house? 11th house is networking, friend circle, you know, gains, talking to people, large organizations, social circle, etc. That's the 11th house. So, 11th house is ruled by sun. Okay. That means sun is telling that I, I belong to the 11th house, but now I'm sitting in the 9th house. So, that means I will bring the traits of the 11th house to the 9th house. This is how you study the uh, lords and the sign uh, the planets placements okay that's what we have discussed in the earlier videos so again I'm saying if you have not watched then go and watch the two three videos early otherwise you will not understand what I'm saying okay so now Sun is sitting in the ninth house of spirituality okay so basically what Sun is telling when my time period starts which is known as Mahadasha in astrology uh, Dashas are time periods about which we will discuss later so basically Sun is telling that when my time period comes, I will give you, my duty is to give you network circles, large network circles, okay. But if I am placed in the ninth house, I will give you through religious personalities, spiritual personalities, through religious organizations, okay. So when Sam Mahadasha starts, his 11th house and 9th house will be activated. That means that he can run into a big group of religious people, big group of spiritual personalities, okay. So that's what is the meaning of 11th Lord Sun in the 9th house. Okay. Now why I am saying this in the area of aspects is because aspect means Sun has the power of the 11th house and it is sitting in the 9th house. 
but apart from that it is also trying to see somewhere else okay where is sun trying to see sun is trying to see directly opposite of it which is the house opposite to the ninth house it is the third house yes ninth house is the house of gaining knowledge and third house is the house of sharing that knowledge okay so this balance has to be there the moment you gain something you share it okay it is like you are cleaning the uh, place for new things to come otherwise it will stay there the knowledge which you have if it does not keep flowing and that is why you see that whenever there is stagnant water na, it uh, sm smells very bad it stinks and it rots and the water is spoiled but if the water is like a river is flowing it will not have any uh, bad smell it will be very good right so similarly aspect simply means that every planet sitting in a house is trying to see some other house okay that means it is trying to influence that house like i am trying to influence you you are trying to influence me maybe by seeing this video <laughs> so similarly what happens is the planet sun moon mercury venus okay these four planets have only one aspect means that wherever they are sitting they will try to impact the seventh house from itself okay seventh house means suppose venus is sitting in the ninth house okay whichever sign whichever for whichever ascendant it is now from the ninth house which is the house opposite it is the third house right so a person with venus in the ninth house can have lot of love in the matters of traveling and discussing about spirituality philosophy etc huh? because venus is sitting in the ninth house where he is gaining the knowledge and doing long distance travel but at the same time third house is sharing he is keeping on sharing the knowledge these people can make perfect bloggers okay so this is what i mean by aspect so aspect means the axis is balanced you understand means every house has the other house the house exactly seven houses apart to it okay so they balance each other for example first house is you seventh from the first is the seventh house so seventh house is what your spouse your partner so your partner balances you they complement you okay and they can at times destroy you also it depends on the planetary influences on the seventh house etc and which is the house opposite to the second house seventh from the second second is the eighth house okay so what is eighth house eighth house is the house of your in-laws second house is your own family uh, before marriage and eighth house is the family which you have uh, which your uh, husband or your wife has before his or her marriage okay so that becomes the house of your in-laws okay similarly third house is courage ninth house is humility okay third house is sharing knowledge ninth house is gaining knowledge okay third house is short distance travel ninth house is long distance travel so similarly fourth house is your home tenth house is your career your office outside of home then fifth house is what your inner creativity okay your inner your inner likes your in, inner inner dislikes okay what you love in this world that is all by fifth house okay and what is 11th house 11th house is the active expression of the fifth house yes 11th house is the place where you use your fifth house that means with other people you love other people right you creatively imagine you are just doing some creativity and just not showing it to anybody or you are not sharing it you will not like it right that's human nature so similarly uh, 7th house and first house i already said so then you go to 6th house and 12th house 6th house is work and 12th house is sleep so you will see if you don't work properly in the day you waste a lot of time you don't work uh, productively or efficiently or at least if you don't work you know, if you don't put full effort result can come or not that separate but you will always notice that you will not get good sleep and the day you work properly you will notice that you get great sleep that day because the 6th and the 12th axis is balanced okay so similarly venus mercury sun and moon they have only one aspect that means whichever house they are sitting they will try to impact the house which is directly opposite to them as i already said 
if they are in the third it will aspect the ninth if they are in the sixth they will aspect the twelfth house okay and we will discuss about the aspect of every planet later okay it's not possible to do it in this video alone so apart from that Rahu, Ketu and Jupiter okay these three planets have three aspects one is the fifth house other is the seventh house other is the ninth house so every planet the thumb rule is they have a seventh house aspect including Mars and Saturn also okay so all the planets they have a seventh house aspect they try to affect the seventh house from where they are sitting okay apart from that I said Rahu, Ketu and Jupiter have two more aspects these three planets the fifth aspect the ninth aspect now why they are given these special aspects that I will cover later not in this video and similarly Saturn has two more aspects it has the seventh house aspect which is directly opposite then it has a third house aspect okay and then it ultimately has a tenth house aspect so suppose if Saturn is sitting in the second house it will aspect the fourth house because fourth is third from the second okay and it will aspect the eighth house because eighth house is seventh from the second and tenth from the second is eleventh house so Saturn in the second house will aspect the fourth house the eighth house and the eleventh house okay because these three houses are third seventh and tenth from the second house okay and Mars has Two special aspects fourth aspect and the eighth aspect okay apart from the seventh so suppose Mars is sitting in the fourth house okay so I said fourth seventh and eighth so from the fourth which houses it will aspect it will aspect the seventh house because seventh house is fourth from the fourth and it will aspect the tenth house because tenth house is seventh from the fourth house okay and it will aspect the eleventh house because eleventh house is eighth from the fourth house so suppose Saturn is placed in the uh, twelfth house which are the houses it will aspect it will aspect the second house sixth house and ninth house wherever Saturn is sitting count three houses seven houses and ten houses including that house I mean in astrology we count that house from where we start right so third from the twelfth is what twelfth house first house second house so these three places you count so that's what is the meaning of uh, aspects and as I said Jupiter, Rahu, Ketu have 5, 9 okay apart from the 7 and Saturn, Mars have 3, 10 and Mars have uh, as I said 4 and 8 and the rest 4 Venus, Mercury, Sun and Moon have only one aspect that is wherever they are sitting they will try to affect the 7th house okay so we will discuss about the aspects of every planet later okay and in this video I just wanted to give you an introduction about what actually aspects are okay because wherever we are sitting we will always try to do something on some other house no, you will always see this trait is there for example Jupiter aspects the fifth and the ninth because uh, whenever we have Jupiter is what Jupiter is knowledge yes and fifth house is children ninth house is father okay that means what the father imparts the knowledge to us and we impart it to our child yes and Rahu Ketu also has five nine okay which means what we come from the past and go to our future because five fifth house is the past life okay and ninth house is the next okay so this is how it happens and we will discuss about each of them in detail later and I would like to end here with this. If you have any questions, queries and comments then please let me know in the comment section. And please share this video with your family and friends. And before ending, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will aspect you. <laughs> because without his aspect, all other aspects will fail. Because in the scriptures there is this saying that and the Vedas say that Lord Vishnu when he glances over the material universes they become lively, they become active. Without Lord Vishnu's glance every place is like dead, everybody is dead, there is no living entity there. So that's what is the meaning of glance actually, aspect. Okay.
you are trying to affect somebody with your eyes okay so that's it from my side bye bye see you